The 10,000 TEU container ship MV Dolly departed from Baltimore port at 1 a.m. local time on Tuesday for a journey lasting around one month to Sri Lanka. Two local pilots came on board to help the ship take out of the port. Roughly around 1.24 a.m., the ship lost its electrical power, leading to complete blackout resulting in a loss of propulsion power. A mayday signal was sent to the coastal authority by the crew. This helped them reduce the traffic flow on the bridge. At around 1 a.m. 25 minutes, the emergency generator kicked in to supply electrical power. However, the propulsion machinery was now restarting again using emergency power, and looks like ship propeller was reversed to slow down the ship. As the ship came closer to the bridge, the port side anchor was dropped to slow down the ship. There was another power failure at around 1 a.m. 27 minutes, and after 40 seconds the power came back. However, it was too late. The ship was drifting towards the bridge head-on. At around 1.29 a.m. local Baltimore time, the ship hit the support column. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed quickly because it was a continuous truss bridge, and losing one support caused the entire structure to come down. The immense force of the 95,000 gross ton container ship impact also played a role. How this could have been avoided A machinery malfunction could have been avoided with proper predictive maintenance on board the ship. However, no one could exactly predict when the machinery would malfunction. The power recovery process needs to be practiced frequently so that there is no power loss once the power is back. There was no tug used once the ship left the berth. A tug assisting ships till it crossed the bridge in a narrow channel could have led to a different outcome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating maritime content.